today I would like to talk to you guys and this video is going to be uh, intended for new riders. Uh, this is tips and tricks for becoming a good rider. And I'm going to start out with this video and say uh, please leave comments to let me know where you think I'm wrong. Or please leave comments to let me know something that I may have forgot about. So when I say this is for beginners, this is for the person that has watched my videos already and just picked out their bike, just picked out what size they want, just picked out all their gear, and is getting on their bike for the first or second time. So, I mean, if you're watching this video, probably seen more of these already and this video isn't intended for people who don't know how to use a clutch or anything but I'm going to cover all bases so first of all you got your clutch right here you have your turn signal right under your thumb right here which I don't use <coughs> you have your front brake over here your rear brake is on your right foot. Right foot. You have your clutch on your left foot. Left foot right there. So guys, when you start riding, pretty much all you're gonna do, turn the bike on, make sure it's in neutral, pull in the clutch, start it, pick stand up, put it in the first, and slowly bring out the clutch. It's all it is. That, that, that's how riding is, it's that simple. Once you get going to the point that your bike is loud or fuel efficient, inefficient, I guess, then you shift gears. Most modern sport bikes, 250s included, has six gears. Two shift gears, you pull in clutch, you shift with your left foot, and you let go of the clutch. Just like that. Now you know how to ride a bike. Being good at it is a different story. Um, so... My first tip to you guys, other than, like I said, you watch this video on how to ride a motorcycle, you probably watch many more before this one. Oh, you're going to watch more after. And I definitely recommend it. You're going to learn tips in there. So, my number one tip is take the MSF course, the Motorcycle Safety Foundation. They will teach you everything you need to know. They will teach you from riding a bicycle to riding a full-blown motorcycle. Uh, in New York State, they have a waiver course, so you don't have to take your motorcycle road, course, uh, road test. All you have to do is go to the DMV with your waiver and you're good to go. Um, so this video is pretty much intended for the person that just took this. This video is intended for the person that just took this and just got their license. Um, tip number one, ride the white line. Um, pretty much, just do as I'm doing right now, ride the white line. Don't ride in the middle of the line ride the white line. Um, the reason why I do this is it gives you that extra split second to stop. So instead of slamming into someone's tailgate or bumper, you have a, an extra five feet to stop. You can ride next to them and stop, stop your motorcycle next to them. Similar to lane splitting, but I mean you're doing it to stop. Um, there are downsides to doing that. It might be harder for some people to see you. So 
know, use caution on when you ride like that. So right now, if this person slams on the brake, I have 50 feet, maybe, to emergency stop and not hit them. Now if I emergency switch lanes, I'm kind of might hit someone. But if I'm right here, instead of stopping, and first of all I can keep going, um, instead of switch lanes, all I gotta do is slide over. And then it gives me that extra car length to stop. Um, so that's definitely tip number one. Uh, tip number two, go slow. Every bike is different. Every bike handles different. I know they all handle similar. I mean, riding's riding. It's that simple. You jump on the bike and you go. But all bikes handle differently. Um, some have power in the lower RPM. Some have power in the higher RPMs. You know your bike. When you're going to a turn, take an extra gear. Go down a gear. It'll give you that little extra. But that might be too advanced if you're watching this video. So slow down. Position yourself on your motorcycle for the turn that's coming. Load your suspension, and when I say that, I mean slow down, get in the right position, get in the right gears, get in the right RPM, so you can go have a nice, fun turn. I'm not telling you to go drag a knee or anything, but just get in the right body position so you can have a nice turn. statement. A lot of vehicles don't know you're there. So it's kind of best to ride like they don't know you're there. Give them extra distance. Don't tailgate a car. I mean, that's a losing battle. You need to be very confident in your abilities to tailgate someone or purposely get tailgated. Give the person in front of you their room just as you would want them to give you your room. When it comes down to you getting tailgated, it's not the end of the world. It fucking sucks. I hate getting tailgated. That easily makes the top five things that I hate about cars when I'm riding. You got that person that just won't give you enough room. I mean, I'm a bike. I'm going fast. Just stop following me like that. Um, in that situation, either just try to get out of the way. Sometimes you can't because there's a lot of traffic. All you gotta do is slow down. They're already tailgating you, let them tailgate you a little worse. And uh, hopefully they'll give you that a little extra room. Now don't do what I do in some videos and ride the brakes and make them tailgate me and slow down to 20 miles an hour. But drop five miles an hour, drop 10 miles an hour. And then they'll either try to pass you or maybe a window will open up for you to switch lanes. Because uh, I really wouldn't condone anyone to just gun the throttle and go faster just because someone's tailgating them. Especially if that's putting you in a situation where you have to ride outside your experience. The last tip that I can really think about right now, um, always check the forecast. And uh, in my previous video, I talked about always having the gear. Um, getting caught in the rain without the right gear, I mean, that just, that just sucks. Not only do you have less traction and less control of your motorcycle, I mean, it kind of just hurts. But um, always check the forecast. Check it. Try to check it for where you're going, how long you're going to be there. For example, I, when I wake up every morning, I base it off the day beforehand if I need to check it. But if it's 80% chance of rain, I'm not going to bother looking, and I'll take my truck. But normally I'm going to check it like I did today, and I'm going to see that the forecast is 20% chance of rain. And I can live with that. Now i got to check it for where I'm going to work. And then I have to check the weather for when I leave, 10 hours from now. 
So I know right now that it's 35% chance of rain when I leave. And uh, it just goes back to the possibility that you guys are just learning how to ride. I'm not too worried about getting caught in the rain. Like it sucks, but I've done it a few times. So I'm not really too worried about it. Another one, uh, this is to help you guys uh, with your turns. I don't think I do it right because I don't feel any benefit from it. But um, when you're going through a turn, look where you're turning. That's what I was told when I took my uh, motorcycle course. And I'm looking where I'm turning. And it, it doesn't, I don't feel like it makes me a better rider. I mean, I think it helps me maybe start my turning. So I can start it maybe a little more confidently, knowing that there's nothing in front of me. But, um, yeah, just turn your head and uh, see what's going on in front of you. Whatever's right in front of your bike, you already know it's there because you've already seen it. You've already looked. That's kind of what that relates to. So, I'll also explain the body positioning too. When you're making a right turn, you want your body to be kind of half off your bike like this and when you turn right you're going to push your bike push your handlebars to the left it's called counter steering you have to do it when you're when it looks always on the light when you're going maybe more than 10 15 miles an hour i don't know when you're going slow you can't do it but uh when you're at speed you have to counter steer that's how you turn When I took that last turn, you guys saw me, I went down from 6th gear to 2nd gear. I slid my body off the bike. The angle of my camera was pointed at a different angle than my bike was. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Like I said earlier, please comment, let me know um, things that you would change on this video, uh, things that you would add. And uh, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up.